Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to Wagner's top tips and troubleshooting video. We're going to be taking you through some common issues that you may have experienced with your sprayer and how you can quickly resolve them. I'm going to explain what could happen if you use the wrong attachment for the object or the surface that you're trying to spray. The wall spray and the wooden metal attachment are designed for different types of materials. The wall spray attachment is designed for your emulsion paint for spraying your walls and ceilings. It could be a silk or a matte water-based emulsion. And the wooden metal attachment is for anything wooden metal. So you can use primers, undercoat, gloss, satin, wood preservatives, lacquers, varnishes, stains, oil or water-based materials can be used with your wooden metal attachment. As you can see on the wall sprayer, it has a lot larger needle size and the wooden metal attachment has a lot smaller needle. Now using the wall spray attachment for wooden metal paint would let out too much paint and could certainly spoil your finish. Using the wooden metal attachment to spray emulsion won't allow enough paint to come out. You're going to get poor coverage, it's going to slow you down and your emulsion paint might be that thick it could continuously block and clog your attachment. If you're unsure, just refer to the manual. The suction tube is a very important part of the spray attachment. It needs to be pointed in the right direction depending on the surface that you're trying to spray. The suction tube needs to face forward if you're spraying the surface directly in front of you. It can stay in the same position if you're spraying the surface below on the ground. And if you want to spray the surface above you, reverse it to the rear and hold your unit in the correct position for above your head. You can always test your unit on a piece of cardboard until you get used to it. Check your paint dilution. It should be the consistency of a single cream that flows freely off a steering stick and leaves no trail on the surface. If this is not the case, dilute your paint by 5 to 10%. Check the data sheet of the paint materials to see what you should dilute it with. If it's a water-based paint, with water. If it's an oil or solvent based, with white spirits or turpentine. The Wagner steering stick has notches which each represent 10% dilution. Now if you have paint leaking out of the front of your sprayer, there's a few things you can check. Always check that the union nut is tight, otherwise you won't get a proper seal around the needle. Now before investigating any further, depressurize your system. Remove your turbine and slowly unscrew your paint container and you'll hear the air release from here. There are three components to your nozzle. So putting your nozzle together correctly, firstly check that the red washer is in position if you look very closely, you'll see a little groove on there. Now that needs to be facing forward once it's fitted into position. And you can check that your nozzle is in perfect condition by looking all around here to see if there's no cracks or any damage whatsoever. Then the nozzle itself has four little gaps taken out of here. You can use any one of them. That has to sit on top of this little nodule sitting in there. When you press it down, that white needle should just close the end of there. You don't want to see any more of that. If there's a little chunk out of that in any way, this nozzle will need replacing. Pull it nice and tight. Just place the air cap on top at any position at the moment. Then your union nut will slide over. You can screw that in by hand. You don't need to use any tools, making it tight enough to allow you to still be able to move the air cap. If your sprayer is spitting paint or it's not spraying at all, then keep watching this video to find out how we can resolve it. So this is exactly what we don't want. Pulling that trigger straight away, we've got an outburst of paint there, which as you can see, there's too much of it, it's probably going to drip. And then it's a little bit thinner here, and then the turbine eventually builds up its pressure, and then it goes perfect from there, and it would do continuing on. But if you've got this problem, you've got to deal with it straight away. So I'm going to take a damp cloth. I'm going to wipe that thick, heavy paint off there because we don't want it to run. And what we must do is use this two-part trigger. Slightly pulling the trigger starts the turbine and only air flows out of the nozzle. To then start the paint flow, gently pull the trigger all the way back. 
When it comes to spraying, you should see a nice fine spray pattern like this. If it looks more like this, then there are a few things you can do to improve it. That is the true signs when your paint pot is running out of paint and it's going to need topping up. As I was going along, just as I was coming to the top, it started to splutter a little bit. There simply isn't enough paint in the pot that's drawn up the suction tube to get you a smooth pass over of paint. If you see or feel that your paint is starting to splutter in any way, stop, refill it before you carry on. If your paint sprayer appears to be set up properly, but there's still no paint coming out, there could be a number of reasons for this. There are two important parts that allows the air to reach the paint and force it out the nozzle. The suction tube and the air tube. The air tube is on the side of the sprayer's front end. Air travels through this tube and into the material container. This tube can be unscrewed to clean it. Note that when removing it, at the base of the tube, there's a small blue seal inside. Be careful not to lose it. The spray will not operate correctly if the blue seal is missing, is in the wrong way, or the rest of the air tube is clogged. Place it back inside the valve cover before screwing it back on, with the pointed end facing upwards. When cleaning your sprayer, it's important to make sure your air tube is clean and free from paint. I've done a separate video on cleaning. Please take a look at this on Wagner's DIY YouTube channel. A second and very important part of the Flexio sprayer that allows air into the paint container is a small air passage through the suction tube. Dry paint can clog the pinhole, preventing the paint container from becoming pressurized. Using an unfolded paper clip, push the dry paint out of the hole. Check the hole is clear every time you clean the paint sprayer. We're gonna be going through some of the main things that you need to consider and what to check to make sure that your Wagner paint sprayer is working perfectly, helping you achieve a professional finish in a fraction of the time. Make sure the surface is clean, dry, and dust free. Ensure that you're the right distance from the surface, either five to 15 centimeters or 20 to 30 centimeters, depending on what attachment you're using. When you go from top to bottom, try to avoid pulling the unit away at the top or the bottom, as this can create overspray. Please ensure that you maintain a 90 degree angle to the surface. Always keep the sprayer moving at a consistent pace. When starting to spray, make sure you're moving the unit before you pull the trigger. Make sure you release the trigger before you finish the movement. We always recommend that you have a wet rag to wipe the nozzle in between applications. By spraying too close to the surface or having your paint turned up too high will potentially build up the paint and create runs. An important thing is to make sure that the sprayer is kept upright, that it's not tipped back too far or turned upside down. I'm gonna be showing you how quick and easy it is to replace your air filters on your Wagner paint sprayers. Most units will have this grid along here, which you can simply click out and then remove the filter like this. This can be cleaned with some hot soapy water, rinsed and left to dry, and then put back in, or you can just replace it with a new one. And then it's ready to reuse. Once you've checked all these carefully, if you're still having any issues, you may need to contact Wagner. You can get product support on our social media platforms as well as through the website. Music